Canada's west coast today where I live. So it's a perfect day to look at some grammar. I want to talk to you today about a great verb in English. It's an irregular verb, but it is a verb that English speakers use a lot. And it is the verb to get. So let's get started. The first one I want to look at is to get plus the direct object. And it means to buy something, to obtain something, or to receive something. Now, English speakers use this verb a lot in this way. So for example, let's say we got a new television for our family. So that means I went to a store, I selected a new television and I paid money and I brought it home for my family. So we got a new television for our family. Secondly, I could say I got my passport last week. And that means I obtained my passport from the passport office. So I now have my passport, which means I can travel when it's possible. I could also say I got a letter from my friend in Seoul, which means I received a letter and this made me very happy. So there's the first one, to get. Let's look at the second use or another use of the verb to get. And this one is to get plus a place. And this means to arrive at a place or to reach a place. So I could say, we got to Bangkok around six o'clock. So that means that's when we arrived at Bangkok. That's when we reached Bangkok. Or I could say, how are you getting home tonight? So how are you going to reach your home? Are you going to walk? Are you going to take the bus? Are you going to drive your car? Are you going to take a train? Thirdly, I could say, when did you get back from India? So that means when did you arrive or reach, when did you arrive back at your home or when did you reach your home? So there's the second one or another use of the verb to get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thirdly, let's look at this one. To get plus an adjective. And it means it shows a change or to becomes or to become something. So I could say, I'm getting old. So I am slowly changing to becoming older. I could say, I'm getting tired of working so hard. So that again, it shows it's I'm becoming tired of something or I'm becoming tired of working so hard. I could also say it gets dark very early in the winter. And that would be true if you live here in Canada, darkness comes very early. So again, it shows a change. It gets dark very early in the evening. Let's look at a couple of other uses of the verb to get. Here's the first one. It says, do you get it? So the basic meaning of that is just, do you understand? It's a very simple and casual way of saying, do you understand? So I could say, did you get the math lesson? It was very difficult. So did you get it or do you get it? Do would be right now in the present tense. Do you get it? Meaning, do you understand? Let's look at the one below and it says, it says, I'll, I'll get the bill. So let's pretend we went out for lunch together and this time I say, I'll get the bill, which means I will pay for the lunch. I will give money to the restaurant and I will pay for the lunch. So it's a very casual way of saying, I will pay, I will pay for the lunch this day. So these are two very, um, we would say, commonly used expressions from the verb to get. So do you get it? Or I'll get the bill today. So those are just a few uses of the verb to get, but they're probably the most common ones. And I want to encourage you, as I always do all of my students, to take a couple of them and just practice them. Maybe practice them with your family or practice them with a friend 
or just practice them in your head as you're going around your day, as you're going about your normal day. You might say, today I'm going to get a new iPad or today I'm going to, I'm going to get um, a new book. Just simple things and just practice the different meanings. Go through the different meanings and then practice them. And I'm sure you will have success. So wherever you are, I hope you stay warm and keep speaking English. Mm -hmm.